What's going on YouTube? Andrew Huang here again for LPX Tech with some tech impressions. Now with the release of the Apple Watch, it has overshadowed two other watches that have been announced for release um, this summer. And two particularly I want to talk about today is the LG G Watch Urban and the Huawei Watch. <laughs> Not a really original name, but two very cool devices that I wanted to talk about today. Now, both of these watches are continuing the Android Wear trend of sticking with circular designs. Now, while I'm not a particular fan of those circle watches, I actually like both of these watches because unlike the Moto 360 where it was a good first attempt, it didn't quite hit it. Both watches have a distinct look to them that is actually quite appealing. In terms of specs, both of them are pretty quite similar. Um, both rock a quad-core processor, 512 megabytes of RAM, and 4 gigs of internal memory. Now in terms of size, while the LG G Watch Urban is slightly bigger than the Huawei Watch, um, because the Urban is following the, you know, the watch casing, the screen size is a slightly smaller than the Huawei Watch. On top of that, the Huawei Watch actually has a higher screen resolution than the LG G Watch Urban. Now, in terms of this screen size, I don't see that it's going to make a huge difference, um, but it, it is slightly better for those of you who do care about that stuff. And the one other major difference between the watches is actually the battery size. Now, the Huawei watch actually rocks a 300 mAh battery size, which is actually similar to my Gear S that I'm wearing here. Now, if it is the same battery, it should last around almost uh, anywhere from a day to two days, depending on the use of the device. But the LG G Watch Urban actually rocks a 410 mAh size battery. So a, a quite bigger battery size um, if you compare it to Apple to Apple. So hopefully that means longer battery life. So other than that, both devices pretty much share the same sensors, accelerometers, vibration, um, heart rate monitors, etc, etc. Now aside from the technical stuff, in terms of looks, I'm actually digging both designs. Now, the Moto 360 didn't win me over with their um, with their watch design. The LG G Watch R sort of did. Um, it sort of brought me over back to Android Wear, but the interface still wasn't quite the way I wanted it. But now with the newly updated Android Wear interface and these two new watches, I might be tempted to at least dive in and try them out a little bit. And I feel that with the different bands that you could put on both these devices, they can fit almost any need. And in terms of feel, obviously I haven't tried the devices, but I've tried comparable devices and both of them look like they're going to be quite comfortable and quite light, not too heavy on the wrists. And for those of you who aren't fans of the actual watch watch faces, you can be pretty sure that they're going to offer different watch faces for um, the Android Wear market as they've done with not only the Apple Watch, but also the Samsung devices as well. But I gotta admit folks, I love the direction that they're heading with these designs. I was kind of afraid that they're going to go with the circular design and not make it work quite, you know, quite well. But seeing these two recent renditions of the watches, I'm kind of sold on it. I mean, I still prefer the rectangular designs for my display, but for the masses, at least now, folks, you guys have a choice you can choose from, whether it's square or round or even the curved bracer style um, as like the gear fit and, and whatnot. Now, as for pricing, you should expect the price range should be anywhere from $250 to $350. I'm expecting a $300 price range, but if they come out around $200, that's a definite buy, folks, because the for the uh, technology and the style that these watches are offering, it is a hell of a better deal than the Apple Watch, per se, or any of the current existing watches right now. Or if anything, too, you can definitely look forward towards the LG G Watch and the G Watch R uh, to drop in price when these things come out, uh, because obviously, the new as new generation watches have come out, the older ones should go drop in price. Now, in terms of durability and scratch resistance, that's going to be determined on um, the actual tests done in real world once I have one of these devices. I'm pretty sure they're not going to be as durable as my Gear S, but hey, I could be proven wrong. Uh, but definitely be on the lookout for um, the future videos coming out for these devices. Well folks, that's pretty much all I had to say about these watches. Um, good first impressions so far, but I cannot wait to get my hands on one of these. Um, but I would love to hear your thoughts on the watches. Do you like it or dislike it? Um, if you're a fan of the round design, if you can go ahead and tell me why you like the round design over the square designs, I would love to hear your thoughts on it because my opinion is, you know, obviously I'm biased on one side, but I'm very open-minded. I would love to have a, you know, a smart discussion about these things. Well, thanks for stopping by, guys. Um, obviously, for more future videos and other content I've done, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more content. And as well as, please leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down on this video to let me know if you liked or disliked this topic. Um, and if I don't see you in the next video, thank you for stopping by and at least watching this one. But hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. And I'm looking at it! So you're just gonna focus on just doing nothing but... That gorilla glass, people! It is tough! And turn wear, pebble, and Let's go ahead and bang it with this thing! How strong is this thing? How strong is this thing?
strong at that point in time, it's just a matter of okay. just deciding. It's still going. What else could we got? Keys. Yeah, you you said keys. Just go ahead and You're gonna scratch it with your keys. Design, I'm really going to hand it. And it's still going. Oh, one thing to point out though. Look at that. Android Wear will only work on Android. It scratches. 